So if you need SEMrush explained or you're curious about what it is and what it does, this is going to be the perfect video for you. As you can see on the screen in front of you, it allows you to get measurable results from online marketing. You can do SEO, content marketing, competitor research, PPC, and social media marketing just from one platform. SEMrush also comes along with a free trial. If you want to check them out, I will put a link in the description. And if you can click that, you can check them out and make sure they're going to be perfect for you. Aside from that, I'd like to explain SEMrush very quickly in my own words. They are an SEO software tool and they're great when it comes to a few things. In my opinion, they can do a lot, but these are some of the highlights. You can do your keyword research with them. You can stumble upon a ton of low competition keywords. You can run audits for your website to see if you need to make any changes. You can find a lot of great backlink opportunities, especially when it comes to your competitors and a whole lot more. Overall, by using SEMrush, it's going to allow you to rank much higher in Google for your website or websites, allowing you to generate more traffic, leads, and sales. Let me just show you some quick examples on the inside in case you haven't gotten to see any of my other videos. All right, so here we are on the inside. I entered my domain in the top when it comes to organic research. Starting off, we can look for competitors because what's good about that, we can see what they're ranking for, maybe some of the backlinks they have and go from there to get some easy wins. Just going by this, I'm going to go with Supply Gem. I'm going to quickly copy them. And by doing that, we can get some great keyword research done. So for example, if we type them back in here, click search. Now we can go to positions as well. And this is going to show us some of the top keywords that they have, not just the top, but some of the best. And we can filter this by the low hanging fruit in terms of the very easy to rank keywords. By doing that, we can see what they have, kind of make content similar to it, and of course, rank above it. Given the uh, specific keywords right here, they're ranking for a lot of Kajabi type, Shopify, Shopify, Kajabi, ClickFunnels, Funnel Scripts, and so on and so forth. So a lot of these are going to be software and product related. However, if we see a nice little idea that they have, what we can do and really expand upon it. So maybe you want to write more about Kajabi. Obviously, if you're in a different niche, you can relate it to that, kind of take the seed keyword and go to the keyword magic tool. From there, we can type up Kajabi and search at the top. And once again, we can filter by some of the easiest to rank for keywords. Excuse me, clicked on the wrong one. Let's click on very easy here. And once that loads, you're going to see that there's 46 in this specific section, especially for the fact that some of these have some pretty decent volume. When you go for a lot of long tail keywords with, you know, easier competition, the traffic will build up over time because a lot of people aren't going for those because they don't realize they can monetize them or, you know, get leads out of them and so on and so forth. That's why they're low competition, simply because a lot of people aren't ranking for them and the people that are probably don't have a lot of backlinks. Speaking of backlinks, this is another great section where you can go in and check some of your competitors and what they have to offer. Let's type in the same domain we had previously. And once we've reached an overview, we realize that they are one of the biggest competitors. We can click on their backlinks and see specifically where they're getting them, where they're going to, whether it's follow, no follow, text or image. Most of them are usually going to be text. We can also segment this. So we want our active backlinks. We don't care about ones that are lost. So we just want the, the best ones that are current. And we also want follow because those are going to provide the most link juice. So speaking of that, we can now go through and it's going to be sorted by the authority score. So for the most part, usually the ones towards the top are going to be the juiciest and the best. You can see where they're coming from or where they're linking to. And of course, their anchor text. So this is going to be a great kind of plan to go in and see where your competitors are getting backlinks, where you can reach out and eventually do the same to rank higher than what they have. That in a nutshell is a very small glimpse of how a SEMrush can work. I love the two aspects of keyword research and finding backlinks. As you can see on the left side, there's a lot when it comes to just the SEO tab scrolling through there. There's going to be sections for local SEO, advertising, social media, content marketing, trends, and agency solutions based upon which plan you have. But all in all, SEMrush is an SEO tool. It's going to be great if you're a beginner and you want to get started and you're really going to dive deep into SEO, especially when you're just getting started with a website. It's a great way to get off the ground, see what people are ranking for when they are beginning their website. So you can go for the easy wins, build up traffic, and then build up your authority that way, along with being able to get backlink opportunities, seeing what your competitors are doing, and of course, outranking them. So I hope this quick video explains what SEMrush is all about, what it does, how it works, and how it can help you when it comes to SEO and ranking higher in Google. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have the link for the free trial to SEMrush in the description. And that's about it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.